Hi, welcome to the Staking Geek channel. Glad you're with me. Today we're going to discuss the graph project and ways we can make passive income holding the GRT token. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to go over a high level of the graph in a sec. Let's jump over to coin market cap and quickly review the token. It's within the top 100, so another strong project. Looks like it has almost $1.5 billion in market cap. Uh, I don't know. Let's see it. Yeah, the price has suffered uh, down through the bear market, but the graph is a very important part of the ecosystem, and we'll get into that in a little bit. You can buy GRT token at leading exchanges like anyone in the top 100. All right, so let's jump over to their website. So to make this simple, because this industry is somewhat complex and it's hard for most people to understand, and that's one of the reasons I've started this YouTube channel is to break down these complex projects into ways that normal people like myself can understand. And the best way to describe the graph is they're an open API. So an API allows applications to communicate with each other. So what the graph is doing is giving these developers back-end infrastructure so they can focus more on the front end. Because one of the things or one of the shortcomings that the industry has currently is the user experience, right? That's one of the biggest shortcomings right now in the crypto industry. And in DeFi is providing a good user experience. So what the graph is doing is basically pro providing the back-end infrastructure and all the requirements to pull and query data so that the developers can focus on developing the front end infrastructure, the UI, the UX. All right, I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit and highlight something. It looks like the graph has been a, a part of a lot of big projects. Layer ones, layer twos. So the graph uses GraphQL. It's a query language that was built by Facebook back in 2015. So if you want to go to this website, read a bit more about it. All right, let's jump over to staking rewards and find out how we can make passive income holding the GRT token. So it looks like there's a couple ways. There's actually more ways, but there's only a couple here. I'm going to explain one other way. It's called curating, and really it's more for the technical folks. But um, the, the best way that we're going to discover ways to make passive income is through delegating our GRT to one of the indexers. So it looks like their staking ratio is fairly low, but they have a, a pretty decent size reward. All right, so what is a delegator? Or how do you delegate your GRT token? So delegators are network participants who delegate. So you're basically staking your GRT to one or more indexers. So it sounds like the delegators contribute to securing the network without running a graph node by themselves. So this is the easiest way for normal people that want to be a part of the, the industry and to make passive income is to get involved in this project. So how do we delegate our GRT tokens? So let's go over here. You're going to want to pick and what I've done here, so you're going you're gonna to have to buy GRT on a, an exchange, just like every other project I'm speaking about. Or you could swap on Uniswap. You buy it, your token at the exchange, you send it to your Web3 wallet, and from your Web3 wallet, you're able to delegate your GRT tokens to one of these indexers. And if I go down this list here, normally I want to I wanna find out who's delegating the most GRT tokens because I want to explain something this effective reward cut if you're finding someone with a hundred percent reward cut you as a delegator are not receiving rewards so you want to be careful with that and you want to probably go over their discord channel and you can find their discord channel at the bottom of their their page here you can just click on their discord channel and you you can go, they have a separate section in there that you can find out who is the best indexer or who are the most popular indexers. If you look at, this is the top delegator and he's, he's providing 90, almost 93% or 92.5% of 
uh, rewards to the delegator. And if I swing back here, that estimated APR is similar to the one they have on staking rewards. So you can go down the list here and try to pick. They also have tutorials, believe it or not. But I think by looking at this right here, and let me just try to get over here. Their web page is not super friendly. Let's go over here. It looks like there's the APR. So you can find this guy with an APR of 25, but he's taking 85% of the awards cuts. He's uh, delegating 2.3 million. That's not bad. He's part of many different subgraphs. Now I lost them. There we go. So you could do your own research here, but that's just a general overview of picking an indexer. So I would say delegating your GRT token is more for advanced crypto users, right? You know, the beginners that maybe haven't downloaded and maintained a Web3 wallet might not be the greatest fit for this project because there are nuances like, like this. It's not as simple as grabbing your GRT tokens, hitting a couple buttons, and away you go, right? There are some DYOR, do your own research type of things you need to complete. All right, so the next way, and if you're new and you're, you're happy with what you see here, you're like, okay, I'm, a, I'm good to go delegate. You could probably drop off, but there are a few other ways to make money, and I'm not going to go too far into this, but you can curate, and if you want to learn more about curating, you can go here, but this is a very important part of the network. You get it. There's different roles based on your technical skills and risk tolerance. I mean, it really just gets very technical from here on out. So what is curation? You're basically finding valuable data and presenting to a target audience. And what is a curator? Well, these curators analyze these subgraphs to identify high quality. And then once the curator has found such potential high quality data, uh, they present that to the indexers. But I'm not going to go too much further into it because all this technical jargon is probably one of the reasons a lot of people won't get into the industry. But if you've been here for a while, it, it tends to get a little bit easier. Even I, as an eight-year crypto user, have a hard time navigating some of these projects. All right, so if I go back to Curate, you can read all about it. But it looks like you can make rewards based on query fees. By signaling on a subgraph, you will earn a share of all query fees that that subgraph generates. So um, I'm not going to go too much further into it. They don't even list it here on staking rewards. All right, so the last, the third way, or the, I'll say the second or last way of, of making rewards through the GRT tokens become an indexer. And as you can see, you got to be a pro. You need to be a technical person. But if you want to do indexing, Indexers are node operators, and so that's just another way of saying you're a node operator by calling yourself an indexer. You're, you're, you need, I believe, 100,000 GRT tokens to become a, an indexer, but there will be multiple streams. As if, if I go back here to indexers, you can see this guy here, he's creating lots of streams, lots of revenue streams from all of these subgraphs that he's indexing. But there are risks like slashing, and you can read all about that here in the link. But I'm not going to get too far into it. There's the 100K GRT tokens. But there are lots of revenue streams, including query fee rebates, indexing rewards. You can read how they're distributed and uh, look at their this proof of indexing, which is what their consensus mechanism. All right, so I think we're about done here. Let me just do a quick review. So there are a few ways to make passive income holding the GRT token. You can delegate your GRT tokens to an indexer and you can rewind the video and listen to how I would choose to pick an indexer to delegate my GRT tokens to. And you would make roughly 11.5% or so, but that number will fluctuate. The other way is to curate. And this is, again, for more technical folks. 
And the last way to make money with the GRT token is to become a node operator or an indexer. And these are the folks here that you are delegating your GRT tokens. So the easiest way for most people to make money on this project will be to delegate their GRT. I hope you found this information helpful. Please leave me any comments or suggestions or any ideas or any other tokens or projects you'd like me to review. I'd be happy to. Thanks for watching. Until next time.